<laughs> Although I don't think we've played the Spring Sonata together, the Beethoven Spring. I think we've played a bunch of other things, but not this particular piece. Right. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, so it's, it's, it's fun that we finally get to do this. One of the most well-known, famous pieces for violin and piano um, that everybody plays. And so it's, it's high time that we get to do it together. Yeah. And, you know, I think this, I, I think I actually heard the opening theme of this sonata as a ringtone. I believe I heard it like on an airplane and I heard, I, and I was looking around to see like, who's, who's listening to Beethoven Spring and someone picked up their phone and answered it <laughs> and then it stopped. So <laughs> that shows you how well known it is and how, exactly. <laughs> how familiar it is to everybody. It's, um, you know, the, the Beethoven has 10 sonatas for violin and piano. This is number five. Um, I think everybody um, that's going to join us for the concert will recognize this. It's an amazing, amazing piece. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to playing it with you. And I mean, and the, the drama in this piece is just, uh, even though it, it starts with a very, very calm, um, happy melody, I mean, there are lots of sudden dynamic changes that um, make it Beethoven, actually. That's a standard of what, what that's something that Beethoven does, typically. Um, so, yeah. Right. Yeah, it, it, it's fun to play because I think everybody has this sort of idea that it's the spring sonata and it's just this beautiful, beautiful melody and stuff. But like you said, it's, it's full of sudden fortes and sudden drops and real dynamic contrasts that, that make it full of um, excitement and drama. Yeah, just like us and just like COVID living. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>